Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. This is the LG Xenon. Um, I'm gonna try something a little bit different right now, you know, because there's nobody to stop me because I'm in this room all by myself. Even though I got my, uh, I got Mr. Q here helping me out. What's up? But, you know, other than that... Oh wait, no, I've got the Anchovy 2000 here helping me out. Oh hey man, what's going on? But, uh, you know, other than that, uh, I'm kind of all by myself. Although, if I get hungry, I do have, uh, I do have some pizza here. Mmm. But that doesn't have anything to do with anything. The point is that I figured I'd try something new, and there's nobody here to stop me, so I can. And what this is, is this is not actually a review video I'm doing now, because I haven't tested this phone enough to make it a full review. But it's also not, uh, an unboxing, because we already did the unboxing. When I did the unboxing, uh, the Xenon has, you know, the, the menu system and the UI and all the stuff that it does is, is kind of interesting, a little bit different, takes a little getting used to, and uh, I said something in the video about how, you know, I needed to take some time and figure out how the phone works, and, and somebody made some kind of comment that might have been a little snarky, but I got the point, which was, Oh, come on, man. Like, you know, figure out how it works before you make the video. But, you know, sometimes you guys want to see unboxings, and so I've asked in the past, I've asked people, you know, what's up with the unboxings, like, what's what's the point, and they've told me, and so I try to keep the unboxing just to an unboxing. And I don't want to do a, revi a review until I've had time to really test the phone out, you know? I can't give you a review after playing with it for 12 hours. That, that's not enough time. I mean, i got to go try the calls in different places, see what the connectivity is, you know, see how it is actually using it on the go, in the sunlight, inside, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, this phone does so much, and it's the, the unboxing got so many views, it's so popular, that I want to I wanna show you a little bit about how it works. So, here we go. AT&T, LG Xenon, just recently came out, $99 on contract, available in red, blue, and black. It's the red version, obviously. Uh, Touchscreen phone, sliding QWERTY, two megapixel camera on the back with a flash, and uh, it's got 3G. You can see up there in the corner, I got 3G happening. It uh, does a lot of different things. And it's got this kind of unique menu system happening. So, I'll kind of take you through and just kind of show you how it works. So, a few different things. On the top here, you've got three favorite screens you can swap between. There's a favorite screen just for contacts. So, I have a couple of fake contacts in here. So, this is David. And I hit David. And uh, I can make, I can call him. I can take, well, I'll show you. So I can hit that, and I'll go see his number. That's a fake number. Don't call it. It's not going to do anything. I can go there, and I can see, I can make a call, which I don't actually want to call him. I can go back to home. I can click the messaging icon with the number, and that'll show me messages with David. There aren't any, so I'm not going to show up. Or I can go there and I can write a new message to David. And I can do it uh, using, you know, the virtual keypad or obviously slide the phone open and use the full QWERTY down there on the bottom. Full QWERTY so far is pretty good. Keys are a little smallish. Um, I've been using the, uh, the T-Mobile Sidekick a lot lately. I'll just show you comparison-wise. All right, so you can just kind of see, you know, the, uh, the general size comparison between the two phones. Uh, the Xenon much smaller. It's a really handy, you know, a nice small phone, fits in your hand really well and everything. Obviously the keyboard is going to be smaller than something like the Sidekick as well, but it works well. You just kind of have to get used to it. The keys are, you know, spaced obviously much more closely together and that kind of thing. Um, anyway, so to get back to the Xenon, so you've got that contacts, uh, the favorite contact screen on the front, and you can, um, you know, for each contact you can get quick one-touch access to their phone number, to calling them, to messages you've already sent, or to creating a new message. Go to the home screen here, and this is just a regular home screen, and you've got a little slide-out widget bar. And there are only six widgets available right now. We'll see if maybe uh, more widgets will come out. But So this is kind of reminiscent of the Samsung TouchWiz. I'll tell you, Samsung and LGs, man, they often look very similar. Uh, so, you know, I can create a new, uh, a new note to myself. Obviously, writing a note that says hello would be kind of silly to stick on your home screen, but whatever. So I'll save it. And there's my little note that says hello. And so I can leave that up there on the screen if I want to. 
change the color, all kinds of stuff. So we'll put that away. So you can get those widgets on the home screen, and then you can go to your favorite shortcut screen, which you can set up uh, shortcuts to different applications. So you can kind of you can't swipe back and forth. You just uh, the swiping actually just maybe mess up my nice little grid, but it snapped back for me. So you know you've got three different home screens: your contacts, your home, and your favorites. Then you've also got this uh, main menu bar that's always on the bottom of the screen on any of these three home screens. So you can go to your dialer. You can go to your contacts list. You can go to messaging. Or you can go to your applications. In addition to that, you've got a shortcuts key that'll take you to your task menu. It's not a shortcut key, rather, it's a, uh, a hardware key. It'll take you to your task menu that'll show you all of the open applications you've got going on. So I can go to the music player, I can start a song up. So I can go to the music player, I can start up a song, and then I can go back to the home screen, and my song is still playing in the background. My volume down. So then also, as if that wasn't enough, you've got the status bar that shows up on the top of the screen, it shows obviously your, uh, your connectivity, this is telling me I've got a song playing, that tells me that I have a message. We'll get back to that in a second. And then my status with vibrate and uh, charger on. Now, apparently, LG's calling this system the Annunciator, which uh, I was joking with one of my colleagues in the industry about how um, tech companies get to make up words like the Annunciator. And so basically, it's kind of like a status notification system. And when you tap, you get sort of another drop-down shortcut menu. And it's kind of interesting. This is cool that I can pause the song. Right from there, I can pause and play the song. I can turn Bluetooth on and off. I can go and change my, uh, my alert settings, my ring and vibration. But then I've also got like all of these different shortcuts down here also. So I can head into instant messaging. You can see I have an instant message already. I can go into instant messaging and I can see my uh, my latest conversation that I was having. So I was having this conversation over over AIM IM and uh, I can send a message and then I can go back up here and now my, message, my notification has changed just to tell me I don't have a new message but I am still logged in. And so I'll click and then I can go and I can see oh now it's changed again because I got another message. So, we'll go back to the home screen here so you can see that again. So from the home screen, and these screens both, both obviously they, all these different screens work in both horizontal and landscape mode. So when I go back up here to the uh, Annunciator, I, I gotta double check, make sure that's really called, but <laughs> um, I can log into Yahoo or, or Windows Live messaging if I want to, uh, and I can deal with text messaging and all that kind of stuff, and alarm and calendar. Whoops, went to the alarm clock. Um, but we'll go back, we'll turn off the alarm clock. So you've got like a whole bunch of different ways to get around this phone. And I'm frankly, I just haven't used it enough to know if I think that it's really kind of cool and handy and customizable, or if it's kind of overkill. I'm honestly just not sure yet. I mean, between the three screens, the, uh, the menu bar, the task menu button, the widget tray, you know, the enunciator, you've got a whole lot of, you know, a whole lot of ways, that's making up a word too. You've got many, a whole bunch of ways, many different ways to get around this phone. And uh, it might just be kind of overkill and confusing, or it might be really cool, I'm just, I'm not sure yet. Uh, $99 on contract, so far I'm liking this phone, it's a nice compact messaging phone. Um, I think, you know, definitely uh, gonna do some comparisons of this with like the impression, Samsung impression for AT&T and probably with its sidekick and uh, you know some of the other messaging phones. I think this is kind of, um, you know, it's a nice compromise between not too expensive, not too big, uh, not a full-on smartphone, but lots of features on the device. Compromise, you know, with all those kinds of things. You're getting, you're getting uh, a decent amount of functionality and a nice looking phone at a good size 
without getting too expensive or bulky or that kind of thing. Uh, I just, I don't know about all these menus, you know, that's, that's what I'm really curious to see is uh, if they wind up being useful or just kind of confusing. So there you go, much, much more on the LG Xenon and uh, all the other new phones on PhoneDog.com. Till next time, I'm Noah from PhoneDog. That beach looks good, man. I'm going to I'm gonna have to see if there's anybody in my IM window who can get me to the beach there. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. This video is brought to you by the OnePod Bandit. Spin to win now with PhoneDog.com's OnePod Bandit. It's free to play and you can win a cell phone or an iPod Touch. Just go to PhoneDog.com and click the Win tab. You can spin five times a day on PhoneDog and five more times each day on Facebook. Invite your friends, too. Good luck from me, Noah from PhoneDog.com.